All right, everyone, this is Craig, and I'm on Travel Junkie. And I am sitting in the car, and I figured I'd do this quick video while I'm sitting here. So, if you are traveling to Cape Town, South Africa, one of the things that you want to put on your itinerary is a wine tour or go out to Stellenbosch, you know, check out some of the wineries, right? So, here is my quick tip and three wineries that I think you should visit while you're in Cape Town, South Africa, and why. The first winery is Warwick, W-A-R-W-I-C-K, Warwick. Warwick is a nice, quaint little winery. Like when you pull up, it'll look like one of those New England cottage estates or something like that. It has like maybe, it's like the Little Rock Park lot. Park. So you pull up and it has the rocks in the park lot, then it has the rock walkway up into like the little two barns or stable areas, you know, where you go and do your tasting. Now when you pull up, it'll be a table out in the grass under the trees and there'll be a couple of people out there stopping you to sign in. You know, so when you come to work, you know, that's one of the, you know, nice little features about it. It has the little rock driveway and the rock walkway. And then they have like the little tables set outside for you to register. And then after you register, then you can walk in and from there you can participate in like the tastings and or purchase some wine and all that stuff like that. Then you go out back on the back deck, then they have like a nice little view of like some of the rolling hills out back. All right, now that's Warwick. That's the first one. And I recommend them you do them in this order too. So after Warwick, then you leave Warwick, then you go over to what I like to call one of the most picturesque um, wineries in all of uh, Cape Town, South Africa. This one is Glen Carlo. Glen Carlo sits off the main road. So once you turn off the main road, you have to drive like maybe like a couple of hundred yards, a couple of football fields to the estate, right? And then once you get there, you walk in, they have the reception there, you know, then they have the little section where you can buy all of your wine off the shelf. Then they have like a viewing room, then they have a deck. When you walk out onto that deck, when I tell you the view is amazing, I mean, because remember I told you how it sits off the road about 200, 200 yards. So then it has the winery in front, and to, not the winery, I'm sorry, it has like the vineyards in front. So, you know, and right past the vineyards, then there's the street off in the distance and past that it's the mountain in the background. Man, when I tell you that thing is such an amazing view. If you've ever been to California, Napa Valley, it'll kind of put you in the mind of that, but it's its own, you know, identity, Glen Carlo. So again, in order, go to Warwick first, then go to Glen Carlo. So after you're done at Glen Carlo, and oh, another tidbit, when you go to Glen Carlo, ask for a gentleman by the name of Alcina. He's the guy who kind of runs like the day-to-day -day there at uh, Glen Carlo, and he'll take good care of you. You can even tell him that Craig the Travel Junkie sent you, all right? Now, after you leave Glen Carlo, then I recommend you immediately go over to Fairview. Fairview, now when you pull up Fairview, it may look kind of crowded out front because they have like the parking lot out front, but then when you get out the car and you're starting to walk up to Fairview, it looks like one of those old school California estates where like you pull up and it's like the gardens and the grounds out front, like the koi pond with the statues and all of the stuff like that. And then you see like a little one level building, looks like a little farmhouse. But then when you walk in, as soon as you walk in, it's a reception desk to the left. It's like an area where you can purchase wine and cheese and all that. To the right, then they have like all of the different tasting stations. When you go in there, go to the right and then Right past the tasting stations, they have like private rooms where you can do tasting. And they have a little section off to the left where you can sit, drink your wine, and then they have an area out back where you can go out in the gardens. And then over to the right, those are the actual wineries, the distillers, where they have like the big vats and all that stuff like that. Now, when you go there, if possible, see if you can get a gentleman by the name of Derek and or stop at Derek's tasting station. Derek is so knowledgeable about all of the wine that they produce there at Fairview and just wine in general. So if you wanna know what red goes with what food or what white goes with what cheese or whatever the case may be, Derek is your guy. I'm not saying that anyone else can't do that, but Derek was the gentleman that helped us out and he was amazing. So I recommend if you go to Cape Town and you do the wineries, do them in that order. Go out to the Stellenbosch area and go to Warwick first. Then when you leave Warwick, go to Glen Carlo. And then when you leave Glen Carlo, finish up at Fairview. I guarantee you, you will be nice and toasty when you come out of there. All right? Travel Junkie out.